Hi, um, hi Andy. Uh, good to see you. Hi, uh, okay. Just in terms of the uh, team for the game on Sunday, a couple of decisions to make. Um, some of them, I suppose, people may have flagged beforehand, but could James Lowe be described as a bolter in terms of him as a single to anybody else? Uh, not really, not in our eyes. Uh, he's, a, he's a he's a great player. That's right for this game. Um, you know, when you when you select a, a side, you uh, yeah, obviously aware first and foremost of what the right balance is for the team. And um, I think you can agree that it's a it's a strong side, a strong twenty three, and uh, one that's one that's uh, raring to go to start a new competition. Was there a lot of consideration given to the composition of the starting fifteen? And replacements bench, given the fact that you know there are some people there, including James, you know, who haven't played rugby for a good period of time. Well, look, it's it's it's, it's the world we're living in at this day and age, isn't it? You know, I suppose um, uh, most teams are are in that predicament as well. Uh, but we ask the boys to to make sure at the end of the autumn that come the Six Nations that they were fit and healthy and and raring to go and and to perform at the top level. Of what's needed to to, um, to to be at the best for the Six Nations, and uh, we like what we've seen from from all of the squad really over over the last ten days. Thank you. Hi, Andy. Um, has um, James Lowe been flying us in training? He has. He's been in great form. Uh, he's been it's been seamless for him uh, getting back into action, like like most of the other lads. Um, you know, in 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 uh, in his position, you know, Jordan hasn't played much much games, much game time neither, and Andrew Conway in in, in the same boat, etc. So, um, but they've all come in uh, fit and fit and raring to go, and uh, uh, and up to speed of, of where we want them to be. In the back row, why did you decide to bring in Josh there? Well, I think um, uh, you know Josh. Josh was on the bench for us a couple of times in, in the autumn. He came on and made some uh, uh, magnificent uh, impacts within the game. Uh, he's, he's a fantastic running game. Uh, really punches onto the ball well. He's going to add something regarding in in that regard. But his all round game so he's, he's pretty strong. So we feel that this combination is the, is the one to go with uh, this weekend. Well, first of all, they're both uh, um, class players, and uh, um, you know it's 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 a partnership like that, or or through the individuals themselves that that um, that you'd hope would grab hold of a competition like this and show that everyone what they're about. Um, they're a partnership that play together uh, and train together um, most days of the week, so we're very excited to see them out in the first outing. Can I ask you a question about Wales, Andy, as well? Um, Obviously, there's been a huge amount of change there with that team, but it does seem from the outside looking in, there's a lot of people, uh, including a lot of former Irish internationals, suggesting that this team is, is a different team than what we had before, that maybe they're not quite the force that they were. What do you say when you hear comments like that? And do you think it could be dangerous in the lead-up to this game? I don't believe that for one second. Um, our boys are, are, are very familiar with everyone that's in the Welsh squad. Uh, they play against them all the time. Some of them are, are, are good friends, and we um, we know what top uh, performers that they can be when they're under pressure. And uh, um, this is the start of a new competition, and they'll be wanted to uh, um, wrong some rise, you know, right some wrongs, you know. So they're they're an experienced side um, that's been in in good positions before and difficult positions before, and uh, I suppose they. The, the 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 slate's going to be wiped clean at the start of a competition, and uh, I suppose that this is this is a huge game for for both teams. Thank you. Uh, Andy, if, Andy, if I could jump in there, uh, the, uh, what was the thinking to tip the scales for Billy Burns over Ross Byrne? Um, we like what we've seen in training. Uh, we we um, we train a lot, fifteen against fifteen, and uh, we put the guys under tremendous pressure. Uh, we just feel that he, yeah, um, uh, Billy will, will give us um, a bit of dynamism coming off coming off the bench. Uh, Ross has trained really well, and I'm sure he'll play his part in this competition as well. Do you expect Caelan Doris to be available for France? Well, we'll we'll wait and see. The only thing that matters at this moment in time that um, K 
Kale and gets the advice that that he needs, and uh, we'll see, we'll see how, uh, how the coming weeks uh, how the coming weeks go. Andy, uh, does it um, does it annoy you? Or just following on from Jackie's question, does it annoy the, the management or the team when they hear a lot of former players and pundits talking down this Welsh team? Do you shrug your shoulders, or do you go? Just maybe it's better he did he, he wouldn't say that, or we wish he wouldn't say that. Uh, I, I suppose that's the way of the world, isn't it? You know, we're, we're realist and understand that that's what happens. But as far as uh, within the two camps, we, we, we know the truth. Um, we know that it's going to be a, a war of attrition at the weekend. Um, we know that um, we haven't won there since 2013, which, which says a lot. And uh, we're expecting Wales to be 100% at the best. And we've played them at the best before and, and come unstuck, you know, so we, uh, we're preparing accordingly. for any extra measures in wake of Josh Adams it was revealed he trained with the squad after uh, breaking the protocol Have, has the medical team asked for any extra assurances um, based on what happened there in training with the side after, after that well, it's something that we spoke about. It's something that we spoke about when we first came into camp and it's something that we've addressed again since because obviously um, we want to make sure that that doesn't happen within our group but um, I suppose Everyone's keeping a, a, a stringent eye on, on protocols, and uh, yeah, it's something that we're uh, uh, doing pretty well and did do pretty well during the autumn as well. But I mean, have you asked Wales if they have got any extra measures in now that they have a, a player who well, went through a full training session outside of the, but outside of the all, all teams are getting tested twice a week, um, so, so um, I suppose you can't get more stringent than that. Thank you, best of luck. Cheers. I might come in there if there's no one else there. I'm just following on, Andy, from what Jackie was talking about there. You know, there is so much positivity and confidence that Ireland can go over there and do a job this weekend. Are you kind of ready for all that kind of poking the bear or poking the dragon, as it were? Well, listen, um, I suppose it doesn't really matter what goes on in, in, the, in the papers. Or on the news um, in the, in the coming days, uh, the game will still be the same. You know, um, both teams will kick off, and both teams will try and get an ascendancy, a foothold in the game um, through through the areas of the game that that, that does that for them: physicality, set piece, uh, line speed, intent, etc. You know, so I suppose once that whistle goes, the the game's just the same. You know. Uh, it means a lot to both sides, so we expect it to be a, um, a tough old battle. Andy, how big an opportunity is this for Ty Byrne this weekend uh, to, to nail down his place? It's always an opportunity. Any, any time that you, uh, you you get to put the jersey on, um, it's, it's always an opportunity. You know, you're you're um, you, you you've got an opportunity to show what you can do, and obviously. Tag will be like everyone else in the, in the squad that he'll want to perform uh, for for himself, but for the team first as well. And uh, you know, hopefully, um, he can do that. And I suppose everyone wants to perform to make sure that they play as many games as they possibly can within the, within this competition. We'll finish up on Michael there. Andy, sorry, can I just ask you for a quick reaction to the Wales team, which I've just got there? Uh, George North at thirteen, Alan Jones back in the second row. Hal Amos and Zamek Reese on the wing, half money full back. Lydia Tiprick and Falato in the back row. Yeah, it's it's um, it was uh, it was um, expressed in the, in the press yesterday, wasn't it? You know, a few leaks, etc. So it's something that we've uh, we've we've been uh, aware of anyway. Um, I mean, George George being at thirteen is something that they've done before, so he'll be comfortable there. Alan Wynn coming straight back into the into the side. Uh, I'm sure that he'll add uh, an advantage there uh, to to the feeling of the group, etc. Um, Lydia coming back in will add a bit of um, uh, new energy uh, to the group. So, look, we we expect them to be strong, no no, no matter what, anyway. And uh, that side is a strong one.